Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to give him all the thanks right now, to give him all the praise right now, and to give him all the glory. We serve an awesome God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a powerful God. We serve an amazing God. We serve a God who is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. We serve a God who still sits on the throne, who still performs miracles and wonders each and every day <clears throat> in the mighty name of Jesus, who is still in the healing business, who is still in the blessing business. God is good all the time, and all the time God is good, and he is so worthy of hallelujah. He is so worthy to be praised. Every day is a day to enter to his courts with thanksgiving and praise. To glorify his name, to magnify his name, to exalt his holy name. Because he is that awesome. He is that worthy. Every day you should be thankful and grateful just to be in his presence. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing me to see another day. Thank you, Jesus, that I'm able to continue to put my faith, my trust, my hope in you. And thank you, Jesus, even though I don't see things happening. I don't know what's going on, but I'm still trusting you. Even though, Jesus... My situation is still looking the same, but I'm still trusting you, Jesus. That's what praise is all about. That's what praise is all about. Anybody can praise when it's good. Anybody can praise when things when, when things when things going that way. But can you think and praise him when things are not going good? Can you think and praise him when you don't see things happening? Can you think and praise him when the situation is still dark and gloomy? Can you still think and praise him during your hurt season, your suffering season? Can you still think and praise him when people don't walk out of your life and you're all alone? If you still can think and praise him through all of that, Jesus has his eyes on you because he can trust you, my brother and sister. Yes, he can. He can trust you. And if you have not invited Jesus into your life today, if you have not invited Jesus into your heart today, if you have not invited Jesus into your prayer closet room today, what are you waiting on right now? He's waiting on you. He's available 24 7 right now today. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we just come before you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me your thanks, give me your praise, give me your glory. I thank you, Father God, for who you are, what you've done, and what you're about to do. I thank you, Father God, for the day, because this is the day that you have made. And we are so glad. I said we are so glad to be a part of it and rejoice in it. We thank you, Father God, for everything that you're about to do right now. We thank you, Father God, because you're still in control, you're still in charge. We thank you, Father God, that we shouldn't have to worry about anything, Father God, because you have everything under control, Father God. You have everything in the palm of your hands. Father God, I ask you today, Father God, to give us peace and to give us rest today, Father God. I'm asking you, Father God, right now today, just to whisper in our ear right now today, Father God. Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for everything that you've done and what you're about to do right now. I thank you, Father God, for this word that we're about to receive. I thank you, Father God, for this powerful message today. It's going to keep us full today. It's going to keep us satisfied today. There's no place that I'd rather be at right now today, Jesus, but right here in your house, right here in your sanctuary, Father God, exalt your name and glorify your name, Father God. Oh, Father God, I know that you got to turn some things around right now today. Oh, Father God, someone's going to be healed today. Oh, Father God, someone's going to be delivered today. Oh, God, someone's ready to get their life on to you today, Father God, and you're going to get all the thanks and praise and glory for it, Father God. Oh, Father God, Father God, this is your time. This is your moment, Father God. Oh, Father God, let your will be done today, Father God. Let your words go out and should not return back void today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, allow your presence to move to this place. Allow your love to move to this place. Allow your angels to join us in praise and worship today, Father God, in your place, Father God. Oh, Father God, this is your house. The house that you built on solid ground. The house that you built on solid foundation. The house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered, Father God. Oh, Father God, we know how mighty you are. We know how amazing you are. We know how faithful you are, Father God, because your word say in Hebrews that you never leave us nor forsake us, Father God, that you are too faithful, that you are too faithful to even fail us, to even disappoint us, Father God, that, Father God, as long as we have our faith and our hope and trust in you, Father God, that we should never be disappointed. 
point, Father God. And Father God, we thank you right now today, Father God. We hold on to your words right now. We hold on to your, your promises right now, Father God. Help me, Father God, we continue to walk with you, Father God, during the storm, during the hurt, during the suffering, Father God. Because, Father God, we know for a fact that you ain't brought us this far just to leave us, Father God. Glory be to God. Father God, Father God, I just know that you're about to speak to somebody today. Father God, I ask you today, Father God, to cry our minds right now. Soften our hearts right now, Father God. Heavenly Father God, you are welcome right now. You are invited right now today to enter to your house right now, right here in your sanctuary right now, right here on your YouTube channel right here, right here on your platform right here, right here in my brother's homes and my brother's life, right here in my sister's homes and my sister's life. Father God, I'm asking you today, Father God, to fill us up more of the Holy Spirit right now today, Jesus, because we want more of you and less of ourselves. Father God, I'm asking you, Father God, for, for you to do a new thing for my brothers and my sisters today. Father God, I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to talk to us right now, Father God. Reveal yourself to us, Father God, in a dream and a vision right now today, Father God. Father God, we ask you, Father God, for answers right now, Father God. Oh, Father God, I'm asking you, Father God, to put us at the right place at the right time right now today, Father God. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord right now, right here on Jesus' YouTube channel right here, right here on this platform right here, right here in my brother's homes and my brother's life, right here in my sister's homes and my sister's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to intercede and intervene right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to quiet our thoughts, quiet our mind right now so we hear your soft still voice right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move through this place. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you right now today to comfort us right now because you are comfortable right now. Give us instruction right now today, Holy Spirit. Uh, Father, Holy Spirit, I'm asking you for guidance and direction right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you for help right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you right now today, allow us to catch the Holy Ghost fire through the sermon, through the service right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move through me right now. Move through my sisters right now. Move through my brothers right now. Holy Spirit, you have your way with us right now as we continue to give you thanks, praise, and glory. Heavenly Father God, we thank you, Father God. Words cannot explain how thankful, how grateful, how honored, blessed I am, Father God, to pray, praise, and have fellowship with all my brothers and sisters in one body of Christ today. Father God, we're here today to let you know that we're available for praise, that we're available for service, that we're available for the kingdom, but most of all, Jesus, that we're available for you, Father God. Heavenly Father God, please forgive us for our sin, known and unknown right now. Wash us through your blood right now. Clean us up as white as snow right now today, Father God. Heavenly Father God, I want to say this. Thank you, Father God, for you, what you're about to do, Father God. Thank you, Father God, right now, Father God, because you are our everything, Father God. Heavenly Father God, please forgive us for our sin, known and unknown right now. Wash us through your blood right now. Wash us as white as snow right now. Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiving us for our sins. Thank you, Father God, for not remembering our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for the clean slate. Thank you, Father God, for the opportunity. Thank you, Father God, for coming through. Thank you, Father God, for understanding. Heavenly Father God, before I get started, there's something that's always in my mind about you. And something that stays in my spirit about you. And something that stays in the fruit of my tongue and the fruit of my lips about you. And I just got to tell you how I really feel about you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I magnify and to hold it man the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my heart at you every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I am, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I brag, that's why I boast about you. That's why I talk about you all day long, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you get it for God's glory. Let the truth say, man, and let Jesus know right now. Let him know right now that you can't thank him enough. This message today is for somebody today. And what the Lord spoke to me today, he said, you better set somebody free. Somebody has been in the relationship that they never did in their business. And the only reason why they still there is because they got addicted to the pain. They are addicted to being right. They got addicted to the trauma. They got addicted to the hurt. But my brothers and sisters, God is about to make an escape for you right now today. God is about to set somebody free from a job. Lord, they're not happy there. Lord, 
that is another job that God has already set up for you. They already know your name. They already got your resume, even though that you ain't put it on monster, even though that you ain't put it on Indeed, but they have your resume. And someone is about to give you a call. Someone's about to send you an email. Someone, God's about to set someone free and they sit in the state they've been in for all their life. And God says, now nah, it's time for y'all to be like an eagle. It's time for y'all to fly high. But you've been addicted to that pain for so long, that trauma for so long, that abuse for so long, being alone for so long. And you feel like that's the only thing that you have is to be right there. You feel like that's the only thing that you have is to be at that job. You feel like that's the only thing that you have to tend to be with that guy or to be with that woman when you know you really don't want to be there. Because there's no love there. There's no happiness there. There's no joy there. You just going with the flow. And God has given you many chances. God has given you many opportunities to pack your bags up and go. But you've been so addicted to the pain. You've been so addicted to the hurt and the trauma and the abuse. It seems like you paralyzed that you allow that man and woman to disrespect you. Talk to you any kind of way. It's like you paralyzed because you allowed that job to do you any kind of way. It's like you paralyzed because you allowed that certain friend to do you any kind of way. It's like you paralyzed because you allowed that family member to do you any kind of way. It's like you paralyzed because you feel like God only made one state, but he made 50 states. And he made continents and countries too. God is about to set somebody free right now. And he's telling me to tell somebody right now. You better get ready because he's about to move quickly. He's about to move swiftly. He's tired of you crying. He's tired of you being hurt. He's tired of the abuse. He's tired of you going through that suffering. He's tired of you being lonely. He's tired of you continuing to be in this situation when he know that that man or that woman no good for you. He's tired of you being in that situation knowing that that job is no good for you. He's tired of the situation knowing that that friend is no good for you. He is tired. He is sick and tired of the situation. Because he told that person, let my daughter go if you really don't want her. Let my son go if you really don't want her. Let my child go if you really don't want him at that job. Let my child go if you're not going to keep it real be 100 as a friend, let my child go because even though that's your son or your daughter, your niece, your nephew, I let them to you, but let them go. Let them go. And God said, I got to set them free. And God said, I'm tired of them. Continue to do what they do today. But God said, somebody got to give them a push. They've been so addicted to that pain and hurt for so long, that's the only thing they know. They're comfortable being mistreated. They're comfortable being abused. They're comfortable being talked to like a dog. They're comfortable being mistreated all the time. They want to know what love is. They want to experience love. They want to experience friendship. They want to experience what life is. And Jesus said, get ready, my child, because I'm going to allow you to experience everything that I know with your heart is being all oh, heaven this day in Jesus. He said, I know what your heart has been a crime for. And Jesus, I'm going to allow you to experience it, my child. Jesus is about to allow you to experience joy. He's about to allow you to experience happiness. He's about to allow you to experience what real love is. He's about to open your eyes to a whole nother, whole nother, a whole nother scenery that you ain't got to put up nobody talking in any kind of way. Nobody dogging you out no more. No one abusing you anymore. You ain't got to deal with it no more. Because the Lord's about to put a stop to it. And you better see it sooner than what you think, my sisters. You better see it sooner than what you think, my brother. God said, I'm about to set you free. Because he knows that you really don't want to be there. How many of us right now today He said that we've been in a situation like that? Keep it real now. You ain't got to be honest with me. You can just tell the Lord right now because he already know that some of y'all been in a situation knowing that the person that you was in that situation with really brought no love. You just stayed. 
because you felt like nobody else wanted you. You stayed because you felt like nobody cared about you. You stayed because you felt like nobody loved you. Jesus said, if you only knew, I had someone who cared about you. I had someone who loved you. I had someone who would never do you like that. But you continue to stay right there because that's what you was addicted to, the pain, the suffering, the hurt, the abuse, and it was worse than drugs. Because some people can get off drugs, but you can't get off that pain. You can't get off that suffering. You can't get off that abuse because it had came a part of you. And you became a part of it. Because it kept going on over and over and over. And the more the more that continued to go on over and over and over again, you got immune to it. You got adjusted to it. You can say, okay, that's what it is. I guess I ain't nothing. I guess nobody don't love me. I guess nobody ever want to be with me. I guess I'm going to continue to lie this man, this woman, continue to talk to me any kind of way. And Jesus said, no. He said, I know your heart. Jesus said, I know that you really want to be there. I know that you don't want to be with him, and I don't know what you want to be with her, but you stayed. You stayed because you was addicted to the pain. You was addicted to the hurt. You was addicted to the trauma, you was addicted to it. You guys, I got to set you free from that addiction. Anything is not of him, he got to cut off. He got to cut it off right now. The Lord says it's time for y'all to be set free. It's time for y'all to enjoy life. It's time for y'all to be joyful. It's time. I don't know who God talking to right now today, but he's talking to somebody right now. Can you please turn the Bible to the Exodus 5? And we're going to read verse 1 and 2. And we're going to finish off at Exodus 6. And we're going to read verses 1 and 2. If you have your Bible so let the church say amen. Exodus chapter 5, verse 1 and 2. And we're going to finish off at Exodus chapter 6, verse 1 and 2. If you have it, say I have it. Glory be to God. Afterward, Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh and said, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. Let my people go so that they may hold a festival to me in the desert. Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord that I shall obey him and let Israel go? I did not know the Lord, and I will not, and I will not let Israel go. That's one thing we never do. We put the Lord to the test. Pharaoh thought he was doing something. Didn't realize he already lost the moment when he obeyed God. That young man lost the moment when he obeyed God. That young woman lost the moment when they obeyed God. That so-called friend lost the moment they obeyed God. That job lost the moment they obeyed God. Them so-called family members lost the moment when they did not obey God. They lost. Because Jesus only said it one time. He's not a tape recorder. He said, let him go. When Pharaoh felt like he was, when Pharaoh felt like he was the big bad wolf, he felt like he cannot power God. I said, okay, I can show you better than I can tell you. And right now, when God said I'm gonna set my people free, he said, I'm gonna show you better than I can tell you. That's one thing I can tell you, my brothers and sisters. God can show you better. Than what he can tell you. And right now, there are some Pharaohs out there right now. They feel like they better than God. They feel like they bigger, more powerful than God. Don't realize they already got lost. They already got lost. They already got failed. Amen? Amen. Exodus 6. Then we're going to read verse 1 and 2. Then the Lord said to Moses, Now you will see what I will do. I'm going to start right there. Look what he said. Then the Lord said to Moses, now you will see what I will do. Like I said before, Jesus can show you better than he can tell you. He said, I'm going to show you that I'm only one God. I'm going to show you this is my world. I'm going to show you there's nobody mighty, more powerful, and more greater than I am. I will show you better than I can tell you. Now you will see what I would do to Pharaoh. Because of my mighty hand, 
he will not let them go because of my mighty hand he will drive them out of this country God also said to Moses I am the Lord I appear to Abraham to Isaac and to Jacob as God Almighty but my name the Lord of God I did not make myself known to them mm. if I'm going to show you better than I can tell you God said I'm going to put an end to that pain I'm going to put an end to that abuse I'm about to put an end to that suffering I'm about to put an end to that hurt I'm about to put an end to that loneliness I'm about to put an end to that trauma God said he's about to put an end to it because he's going to show that Pharaoh what he's about to do he's not going to show you better than I can tell you you can never put the Lord to the test. You're going to lose every single time. You're going to lose. I don't know who this word is for today. But whoever it's for right now. And you know you've been going through that. And you know you've been in that situation for quite some time. God said your days are numbered. Your days are numbered because you're coming out. Because I'm going to set you free. I'm going to show that Pharaoh who I really am. I'm going to show that Pharaoh I mean business. I'm going to show that Pharaoh, let my son go, let my daughter go. If you really don't want to be with them, God said, I'm going to show you what I'm about. God said, I'm going to show you I'm about that business. God said, I'm going to show you I'm about that life. He's going to show you. Your days are numbered being in captivity. Your days are numbered being in hell. Your days are numbered crying. Your days are numbered being hurt all the time, suffering all the time, not being able to eat all the time, being abused, being talked to like, like you're a dog all the time. So your days are numbered because Jesus says he's about to set you free. And if you know that God is about to set you free, somebody need to give him some thanks right now. Somebody need to give him some praise right now. Somebody need to give him some glory right now. And if you know that God is about to set you free, say thank you, Jesus, because I know that you're about to set me free. And if you like what you heard, you know this word is for you, go and hit Jesus' like button. Hit the subscribe button too as well. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us. I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus, I was praying a simple little prayer that God is already working everything God in my life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is Spiritus.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he is the author and the perfecter of your faith. Continue to trust him even though you don't see things happening. Continue to hold on to his unchangeable hands. And please, don't let it go. Continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know them. It doesn't matter if you ever seen their face. Prayer help and prayer change things. I'm always going to continue to keep y'all in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up to you. I'm seven minutes LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah.